Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding challenge. In today's video, we have to find the output of the below code. Okay, and you have a const a equal to 5, you have a const b equal to 2, and you have to print what's the type of a less than less than b. So please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. I have this particular uh, script available in the test.js file and this script I am calling from the index.html as you can see over here. So let me run this and make sure that everything is running fine. So I am running that and let me open the console. So before I show the console, just me let me comment uh, this out for the moment. We will see what is the answer later. Okay. So I have commented this and refresh the page. So if I refresh the page and okay, now there is nothing in the console and so everything is fine. So I have this const a equal to 5 and const b equal to 2 and what I am trying to do, I want to get the type of a less than less than b. This less than less than actually represents a bitwise operator. So first we have to understand what is a bitwise operator. Okay. So it's not like a boolean okay it is a bitwise operator which works on data at the bit level normally we used to uh, work with data at uh, which will be ranging in the range of uh, bytes or a larger data but this bitwise operator actually works on data at the bit level okay and what are the various uses of bitwise operations we have we can actually use these operations for uh, doing performing encryption and for compression and in graphics okay and communication over ports or sockets and in embedded system programming, we use uh, this bitwise operations. Okay, and what is there in that current question? Left shift. Okay, this is known as the double uh, less than or is uh, less than is called as left shift operation. This is a bitwise. This comes under bitwise operator. And what it does is it shifts the first operand. Okay, in, the, in our case five, the specified number of bits or modulo thirty two to the left. Okay. And excess bits shifted off to the left are discarded and zero bits are shifted in from the right. Okay. So that's what a left shift does. So we'll understand more about this. Uh, okay. Coming uh, here. So we have a const a equal to five. So, okay. So first we have to convert that to a binary. Okay. So this works in the uh, bit level. Okay. Bitwise operation works in the uh, bit level. So first we need to uh, convert this particular number into binary. So how uh, we can convert this number into binary? We can actually do that using, okay, so this is the step where we will say that number is being converted to uh, binary, okay, being converted to binary. So this is a very important uh, thing. Uh, you should know how a number is being converted to binary that is two string and inside two string, okay, it expects a radix, okay, radix is base. So returns a representation of an object and specifies a radix for converting numerics values to strings. So how it can convert to binary? So we can con use the two. So uh, for a converting a number into binary, we can use the two string and uh, two string is expecting a radix, which is an optional value. In case if you didn't provide, it will convert to a string. But if you provide a number, okay, if it is a two, then it will be converted to binary. So let's just print this and see how uh, five is being represented in binary. So you can see here it is one zero one. Okay. Now, so now uh, we have got this as one zero one. Okay. Now what we what we are saying left shift actually operates. So this is b, b equal to two. Okay. So now what it does. Its excess bits shifted off to the left are discarded and zero bits are shifted in from the right. Number of bits. What is the specified number of bits that will be actually uh, uh, zero will be left shifted. Okay. So now 101 on 101 what will happen? Two bits will be uh, added. Zero will be added from the right. So first was zero and then zero. So this is what A less than less than uh, B represents. Okay. A less than less than B represents this particular in binary. Okay, this is the binary one. But what will happen? So this will be converted into a normal integer. Okay, instead of this binary, it will be uh, converted to an integer. So how we can actually check? So this is the output of a less than less than b in binary. So now we have to convert that to an integer. So how we can do that? We can actually check the value console dot log of. Uh, okay, we can we can apply the parse int. In the parse in, we can actually mention uh, a less than less than b, okay, a less than less than b, 
and here actually we can provide again we can provide the uh, radix okay if you want we can provide the radix in this case actually it converts this particular uh, number okay in string okay so now if you convert this one you can see that the output will be yeah the output is 20 so 101 zero, 101 one, one, zero, one, zero, zero represents 20 so this is the uh, integer value of uh, percent okay a less than less than b represents 20 uh, okay now we have got the uh, integer so the, what is the output of a less than less than b it is 20 okay so a less than less than b is 20 so directly also you will be able to get that as 20 in this case because it's a binary being converted over here so a less than less than b is 20 and what will be the type of a less than less than b it will be number okay i will print a less than less than b and then uh, we will be seeing what is the type of uh, this one as well that is 20 okay so and the type of is number okay so this is the output for the uh, question we have it number and there is uh, so 5 and now it has been resulted into 20 okay so there is a shortcut for getting this uh, answer like on the number 20 right so the expression is whatever we are giving in the first uh, operand so in this case a a will be multiplied by 2 okay which will be actually power of uh, b so this is the shortcut for finding the answer okay so 2 to the power of b so that means in our case what will be happening 5 multiplied by okay uh, 2 okay 2 into 2 power 2 so that is by uh, 5 into 4 so which is actually 5 into 4 uh, and which is equal to 20 okay so in our case okay so 5 into 4 this is 20 okay so just i am commenting this is the uh, uh, formula for getting the uh, left shift operator value okay a star of 2 uh, square of 2 power b so if i give like 9 okay if i give 9 so what will be the answer 9 into 2 uh, raised to 4 that is 9 into 4 36 so we can actually uh, see that in action so if i print now so you can see here it is 36 okay similarly if i change b to 3 in that case what will happen so it will be 9 into 2 power 3 that is 9 into 8 which is 72 okay so this is the way you can actually find the answers and uh, one important step that we have mentioned is number is being converted to binary how we can convert that number dot 2 string of 2 so that will be uh, converting the number to binary and uh, a less than less than b means it is a left shift operator where a will be actually shifted uh, uh, from the binary level it will be shifted to this particular thing and then we will be having this value as 20 okay so bitwise operation is very important and uh, various uses of bitwise operation also we have seen and we have like uh, we have also seen the left shift operator which comes under bitwise operator so we will be exp there are many other bitwise operators we can explore more on that in the coming videos so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching